Hi guys and welcome to day 21. Today we're going to be um, talking about a nonfiction text connection and reviewing writing an effective summary. So let's go ahead and take a look at the next slide. This is our agenda for today, our table of contents. The first thing that we're going to be doing is our introduction. Um, the second thing is we're going to be doing a read aloud of the article in your packet. And third thing, we're going to be reviewing a summary mini lesson. It's a review from last week, last week's lessons. And the fourth thing we're going to be doing is getting started on our daily task for day 21 and then taking a look at what you need to send to me. Introduction. This week we read The No Guitar Blues by Gary Soto about a young boy that dreamed of being a musician. Today we're going to read a nonfiction text about a music school in Jamaica famous for transforming kids into top-notch musicians. Let's read the article. Jamaica's famous music school is upbeat about the future. In this February 17, 2014 photo, 11-year-old Tyrone Moorhead Wright plays the trumpet with the band at the Alpha Boys School, a residential vocational school in Kingston, Jamaica. Reynaldo Brown is practicing his flute under some trees. The 12-year-old is barefoot. He is wearing donated clothes, but Brown is a student at a Jamaican music school famous for teaching many of this island's top musicians. It's challenging, but I like it. I'm getting better because I've been practicing nearly every day for two years, said the serious boy. Brown is from the tough Jamaican city of Spanish Town. Reynaldo is among two dozen students at Alpha Boy School who are discovering a new world through music. The boys from poor backgrounds have all been sent there by family courts. Some of the boys are orphans. Others are sent to the home because of neglect. In some cases, their parents can't control them. Students have lived at Alpha since the late 19th century. Most of Jamaica's world-class music has come out of Alpha. The school gives hope to at-risk kids. Year after year, Alpha boys bring the sounds of Jamaica ska, rocksteady, and reggae music to the world. So right in the title, um, we already see the topic. And that automatically gets me thinking about the main idea. I also know from that that this whole article is going to be about a music school in Jamaica. So already in the first part of the article, I am thinking, main idea. Let's read on. Fighting tough times. But its place in Jamaica's music might not even matter. The school is being squeezed. Rising costs and shrinking state support make the school difficult to run. The money problem has gotten so bad that the nuns say they will have to stop letting students live at the school later this year. The school is building up its own money-making businesses. It recently started an alpha wear clothing line. There is also an internet radio station. It draws 60,000 people monthly. Sister Susan Frazier said that the online radio program isn't bringing in money yet, but the school expects people to start paying to support the radio station. The station will also sell ads. Frazier said Alpha also wants to update its training. The school wants to make sure the famous music program survives. But students will learn more than how to play, she said. They will learn the whole business of music. Students at the school are taught self-discipline and pride while they learn music. They learn to read music and understand harmony and composition. Alpha currently has about 85 kids, and 25 of them are in the music program. The other students study traditional classes, like woodworking and tailoring. Excited about the future. Many former students have become top musicians. The Scottalites is an important band. Its members went to Alpha. So did jazz pioneer Joe Harriet and dance hall DJ Yellowman. Many others have found work as strong backup musicians. They work in Jamaica and other countries around the world. If you go to France, you'll see Alpha Boys playing music professionally. 
You go to Germany or New York, you'll see Alpha Boys, said Winston Sparrow Martin. He is the school's longtime band teacher. He also went to Alpha as a student. He has given musical training to many boys at the school. And he also made himself a world-class musician at the same time. I just want to point out that the first sentence of this section is seemingly really important when I'm thinking about how the school is transforming kids into musicians. This sentence, which reads, many former students have become top musicians, stands out as one that's really important. So I would underline that. Okay, let's continue reading. Alpha's music program started in 1892. Back then, boys just played drums and flutes. Sister Mary Ignatius Davies was the school's longtime leader. She started a brass band at the school. Davies supported her students' musical talents for years until she died in 2003. The current Alpha students are excited about the future. On a recent afternoon, band members practiced under a tall building. It was full of trumpets, saxophones, and other instruments, some new and others battered and worn. Reynaldo and most of his classmates stopped to talk during a break. They said they dream of becoming pro musicians. A lot of other people from here have become musicians, he said with a half smile. He looked down at his bare feet. Well, I hope I can too. So another sentence in here that stands out to me is the one that is now underlined in red. It said, they dream, they said they dream of becoming pro musicians. When I think about the topic of the, of the music school in Jamaica, um, and I think about my evolving ideas of main idea, I feel like this would really support the main idea that these kids are being transformed into um, musicians and the school is inspiring them. So my thoughts are constantly evolving about what the main idea could be and details that I could use to support it. So today we're gonna to be talking about writing a summary. Um, this is review from last week. A few people um, were still struggling a little bit to write a summary. Uh, so we're just going to review it again this week. Today we're going to write a summary of the nonfiction text that we just read together. I will help you get started with a dynamic main idea sentence. Independently, you will then paraphrase two to three supporting details. So if we were to think of a summary as an equation, it would be a dynamic main idea sentence plus two paraphrased details. So we need to take those two things apart and look at them separately. Definition of key terms. These are the underlined words that we just saw in um, on the previous page. So what exactly is a summary? A summary is a brief statement or account of the main points of a text. Nonfiction. Uh, today we just read a nonfiction text. It's a text that is based on real facts, people, or events. So today we're going to be writing a brief statement about a real text. Part of a summary is the main idea. It's what the text is mostly about or the big idea the author wants you to understand. That's the first part of our summary is that main idea statement. And then paraphrase. This was the big struggle. I saw that people were wanting to quote directly from the text in, in support of their main idea statement. The thing about a summary is our details are paraphrased. So what does paraphrase mean? It means that we are restating the ideas presented in the text in our own words. So we are just adding the details um, the way that we would describe them from the text. Unlocking the main idea statement. This is the most crucial part of our summary is that first sentence. We want to really try to make them dynamic. So we're going to be looking at the following acronym, IVTB, IVTB. What does that stand for? I stands for identify the text. What type of text is it? V, verb. What does the author do in the text? T, topic. And B, big idea. So how would this work for the article that we just read? Let's go ahead and go through it together. 
The type of text that we just read was an article. So we're going to start off our dynamic main idea sentence with the words, the article. I'm thinking, what did the author do? I know it was about a Jamaican music school. The author wasn't trying to persuade me of anything. The author was really just describing the music school and what it did. So I'm going to use that word describe. So the article describes... Now I need my topic. I already identified my topic on my first read of the article. It was the music school in Jamaica. So now here's my sentence so far. The article describes a music school in Jamaica. Now I need my big idea. What's so special about that music school in Jamaica? Well, I'm thinking about that last sentence in the article where it talks about the boy who was in his bare feet and how he was dreaming of becoming a professional um, musician, that really stuck out to me. So I'm thinking about how I can incorporate that into my main idea statement somehow. That is known for taking at-risk kids and transforming them into professional musicians. So the big idea is that the school takes at-risk kids, kids who um, might not have homes, might be orphaned, might be very poor, and then they transform them into professional musicians. So let's put it all together. Dynamic main idea statement coming through. The article describes a music school in Jamaica that is known for taking at-risk kids and transforming them into professional musicians. That sounds like a professional main idea statement, and that's what we are striving for. Really strong, dynamic main idea statements to lead our summaries. But what do we do next? I've got my main idea statement, now what do I do? I need to add a paraphrase supporting detail, a detail that supports the main idea that I wrote, and I need to follow it up with another one. Remember when we paraphrase supporting details, we're putting them in our own words. There is our daily task for today. Your job is to summarize the article, Jamaica's Famous Music School is Upbeat About the Future. After you have um, written out your summary, please make sure that you take a picture of it and send it my way. Thank you so much. Have a great day.